So the first step will be to register the command in the plugin.yml. So in the command section, I will name the command skin with a description of change your skin and a usage. So let's register it in the main class. Set executor new skin command and let's create the class in a commands package. Implement the method. And now let's first check if the sender is only a player. So if not sender's instance of player, then we send the sender a message only. Players can execute this command. Return true. Now we need to check if the format of the command is right. So we only want to allow skin and then the skin name. So if arcs.length below one, then send the player a message with the correct usage and return. And now let's save the target skin in a in its own variable. String target skin equal to arcs zero. This will be whatever the player entered here. And then let's get the player profile of the player. Player profile dot player dot get player profile. And first let's make a helper method to make a request to Mojang for the skin. So private ring make request. We need a URL and inside here we are going to create a new HTTP client client and now we need a new HTTP request request equals to HTTP request dot new builder dot URI URI dot create and we're going to pass the URL argument from here and build and now the HTTP response we expect JSON as a response so this will be string response equals to HTTP client dot send HTTP request and we want the response to be of type string and just return the response. So the first thing we need to do is to get the UUID of the target player. And we do that with a get request to Mojang's REST API. We'll be at this endpoint. And then the username in the end. So let's save the response profile response and we use our make request method and pass the url the profile url and append our target skin and we can actually try it out of the browser ourselves and let's just append my name and this is what the um, profile response will be and what will, what will be saved in uh, this variable here. It will be the UUID of the player and the player name. And we only care about the UUID. So let's create a JSON object to pass this response. Make sure to use um, the Google one. Profile object. And this is equal to JSON parser dot pass string profile response get as JSON object. And then we can extract the UID, which will be profile object dot get. And now we need to get a property of this JSON response. And we want the property with name ID, since this is where the UID is stored. So let's enter ID here and get as string. And now the next thing will be we uh, use this UID to get the um, skin data. That will be at a different endpoint. And then we need to do a placeholder for the username and add a query argument unsigned false. Because we need the signature of the skin. So let's make the request with our make request method. Final string skin response make request skin URL formatted um, UID. And this is just to replace the placeholder, this one here, with the UUID. And we can actually try to run that uh, manually as well. So let's get the UUID from here 
and replace it here. And then you can see this is the data that we get. We get the UID again, the username and the properties, which will be important for us. Those are the properties that we will add to the player profile. It has a name of textures, a value. This is where the um, skin data is stored and then the signature to verify. And let's copy that and we can actually decode it and look at it. Um, this is in base64 format, so we can just Google base64 decoder. Go on this one, paste it, click on decode, and then you can see this information is stored in this one right here. It has a timestamp, the UID, the name, and here is the actual actual skin texture so if you copy that and open that in the browser you can see this is the um, actual png file of the skin we need to extract the value and the signature and this happens similar to what we did here with id so let's create a json object again skin object and this is equal to json parser dot pass string skin response get this json object and then you want to get a subfield of that, this array right here. So get properties, get as array, as JSON array. Then we want to get the first element of the array, which will be this one right here. And you want to get that as a JSON object. And now we can extract a value and the signature. Final string value will be skin object object try to get value get a string and the same with signature and let's actually extract that to a different method private it will be a collection of profile properties we give the name texture property for example and we need the target skin Let's paste that here and we will just return a list of properties, only one to be exact. So let's create a new property. It has a name of textures, which you can see right here. The name of this property is textures and the value in the signature will be the ones that we extracted from the JSON. So value, signature and then in our on command method let's get the player profile set properties get texture property of the target skin and then let's set the player profile back to the player so player set player profile player profile and you can send the player a message that it worked player sent message your skin has been changed And now if you try the command, you can see we get our usage. So let's enter a name, for example. And you can see our skin has been changed. 